I'm Dr. Pradeep Kumar, Senior Consultant Rheumatologist from uh, Narayana Hridayala, Bangalore. Today I'm here to talk about uh, chikungunya virus arthritis. I'm sure currently everybody is aware of this coronavirus which is uh, causing a big alarm all over the world but we already have this major problem of chikungunya arthritis in our country and not many people talk about it. It is rapidly spreading this condition and I think it's important for all of us to know about it. This is caused by a mosquito bite. So there's a mosquito bite causing arthritis later on. Like a dengue fever, it can cause high fever to start with for three days, followed by joint pains and leg swelling. And the joint pains can be so crippling. And I have seen lots of patients who, are, who just come in a stretcher. They're not able to walk at all. And uh, the peculiar thing about it is it affects them suddenly. So it's not gradually progressing. It's just suddenly they're just crippled and it limits them significantly to an extent that some of my patients have even thought about committing a suicide. So I think it's important to be aware of, be aware of it. Also for the reason that there is a good treatment for this, like we can cure all of them. They don't need to struggle. Um, these patients, once they have fever, you just treat them like for any fever with normal paracetamol. And then if they start developing arthritis, which doesn't happen in everybody, but most of them, especially if they have diabetes or if they're older or if their immune conditions are not strong enough, they can get a lot of arthritis. And in those patients, we can give them steroids and that will literally cure them. Please don't be taken off by the word steroids. Steroids are a very good drug if, you give, if it is given for a short period, but if you give it for a longer period, it can cause problems. Unfortunately for this condition, we need very short course of steroids. Mostly what we do is we just give them one shot of intramuscular steroid injections at a reasonably good dose and that will cure this arthritis in almost all of them. Uh, very few of them might have some arthritis remaining at the, uh, after the treatment and there they might need a, a, a short course of anti-inflammatory drugs and again that will cure almost all of them. So be aware, fever very high, more than 100 degrees for three days followed by severe joint pains with extremely severe stiffness of the joints in the mornings with some leg edema. Leg edema is a cardinal feature of this post viral arthritis, chikungunya. And, uh, and then you treat them with intramuscular steroids and they all do get better. Unfortunately, we have uh, not a good test available for this condition. So people do the test IgM for chikungunya for this arthritis and most of the time it comes back negative and both the patients and the treating doctors think that they do not have chikungunya and they don't treat them properly. The sensitivity of this test IgM chikungunya picking up chikungunya arthritis is very poor. Uh, we have to do PCR for chikungunya which is not widely available and that is why people don't do it. But most of the time it is a clinical diagnosis which means if they have this pattern Again, a repeat fever followed by joint pain, stiffness and leg edema. You do strongly suspect post viral arthritis, which is chikungunya arthritis and then treat them and they will all get better. I hope this helps everybody. Thank you.